Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on serpents. We're going to continue where we left off on the previous video. So if you haven't seen the copy and set properties, I recommend you go back because I show how to build this node here and its function being able to quickly change your render engine between Workbench, Cycles, and Eevee and just how, how to change things like the icon and the power that the Serpents has in being able to help you get this stuff done quickly. Today we're going to talk about uh, making use of the copy operator and using Serpents internal operators versus Blender internal operators and the difference between just using a button and being able to use an operator that can use both Blender and other operators as well. So we'll keep it simple. Um, I've already made another line so we're going to make one here and we're just going to use the render image as our operator. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm using the add-on creation template. And you can go ahead and grab that in the edit prefs under Serpents. You can search for it in the library on the marketplace and it's free. I'm on the 3D viewport editor graph and that's that's this thing right here. And we're just going to grab this line here, the get aggressive events, and we're going to copy everything in this frame. And shift D to duplicate it down at the bottom. And then I'm going to control space to make this workspace a little bit bigger for the time being. And we're going to move this column to make another line down below. So instead of aggressive logging, we're going to change this to the render, render scene. And I'll change the icon. We'll just search for the word render in here and we'll pick the camera. So this is a internal operator and it's got the serpent symbol, which means that as you create your own operators within your graphs, serpents can find them and make use of them. So I've got lots on the add-on creation preferences. Um, I have all these operators over here. And once you make it on one graph, you can access it on all the other graphs. So I have an operator to clear the console and I can see all these on my 3D viewport graph when I can in here you can see the clear the clear the console clear the info log and all these other operators we're actually going to make another operator but before we do that this is just a button that's referencing the operators I can click on the serpents image and we can actually paste a blender operator that's already been built so I can come into render image right click on it and copy the operator and then we can paste it right in here and it gives you a few options here. You can give it a label if you want. I've already got a label appended to my row. Um, and all these options are context specific to the render operator. You can turn the eyeballs on and off if you don't want them to be viewed or available. If the eyeballs are on, it is going to make use of the data. So let's go ahead and do a compile and let's check it out. So there's our render scene. I'm going to go ahead and click render. And it's rendered my image. Okay, so we know it works. So that's good. But it, it doesn't, um, it's just making use of an internal Blender operator. And what if we wanted to do more things besides just that on the button? So we can totally do that. Right now, we're only being constrained to this button doing the one action, but we can change it to an Serpents operator and what we'll do is we'll just shift a and we'll go ahead and go to on the search just type in operator and i'm going to call this operator render scene and the invoke allows you to define properties so and and set up data um, you can also define the ability to make use of um, user interaction. You can make use of pop-ups on these Serpents operators. You can confirm or have a pop-up to state something. Um, you can make an update property happen. Um, and you can obviously create your own properties that live specifically within the operator. Now they can't live outside of the operator, but you can define data and then make use of the data while you run this. I'm going to keep things simple right now for this, um, this example. And we're just going to plug in the operator side and we'll, we won't worry about the invoke today. So we have we have our operator and we can come up here 
and now that we've given it a name we can make use of it here so when you click the button you're going to make use of this and what we want is we want to call the run operator that the button was going to do and so come back up to our render right click and copy the operator and change this over to paste we can come up and we can click the button and it should render our image just like it did before and as you can see here it's it's working just fine but now you can also execute other data along the lines of your run operator so you could you could switch the workspace if you wanted to be able to open up the render or just call other settings if you like or you can call things in front and you don't really have that flexibility within the regular putting the paste operator on the button because you only get one action and when you run a serpents operator you can add more actions in line we'll, we'll keep it simple for now though keep this video short but i hope you all enjoyed this quick tip and uh, now we've made yet another item for our menu if you like these videos go ahead and uh give me a like and subscribe and i'll try to produce some more to help all those out who are learning the serpents engine thanks y'all